Hi, it's day two at Armed and Security Defense Exhibition in Kiev, Ukraine. And for today, we'll focus on some new products showcased by the state company Yukobron Prom, most of them presented for the first time. My name is Dennis Gurak. I'm uh, deputy CEO of Fukuroboron Prom for international business. Uh, the company, uh, which literally means Ukrainian defense industry, is a biggest Ukrainian conglomerate of defense manufacturers. We have more than 100 manufacturers of defense products, 80,000 people working for us, and we work in five domains, in armored vehicles, in aerospace, in uh, Navy, in air defense, and uh, precision weapons, and in special electronics domain. Here we are today at the Arms and Security Exhibition 2017, an annual event in Ukraine, where we have a chance to present our uh, best and newest developments. Here you see a, a new development, a, a new modernization of T-72 tank done by Kyiv Armored Plant, which is a subsidiary of Ukuroboron Prom. Uh, the tank itself is a uh, solution, uh, the modernized tank is a solution for current uh, warfare, uh, as opposed to the old one. It is a modernized system, including uh, all the best and newest uh, thermal and night vision technologies, dynamic protection, better, uh, better engine, better horsepower engine, and various other improvements, uh, so, uh, which Ukrainian army uh, requests to have in its current battle conditions. The anti-tank guided missile of Ukrainian production, 125 millimeter caliber, is integrated into the barrel, which is a uh, very interesting solution also for precision targeting. Here you see a uh, a uh, new development of ours uh, called Guardian, or in Ukrainian, Straz, which is a, uh, a different concept of a fire support vehicle. Uh, it is a it's a tank chassis T64, actually with a combat turret mounted on top. Uh, instead of a tank uh, standard gun, here we use a, a double uh, automatic uh, 30 millimeter gun together with separate ATGMs. Uh, of Ukrainian production mounted on the top, uh, plus a 762 PKT machine gun. Uh, it also has all the require. It also matches all the requirements of, of our military in terms of protection. It has the dynamic protection of Ukrainian uh, production mounted, uh, and is a, a vehicle that we are now offering to for Ukrainian army to modernize their used T64 chassis. Here we see a uh, mobile motor complex developed by Ukrobron Prom, by one of our subsidiary companies. Uh, it's a uh, quite new concept of uh, which is uh, considered effective in the current warfare. Uh, it uses it. It can use uh, any caliber of mortar which you like. It's very mobile. It's uh, fully integrated with the uh, point system with UAVs. We hope that it would be a good solution for our army and for export.
Here you see a BTR4 MV vehicle, a brand new development in our top-notch product, uh, which is a at the same time battle-proven solution. We, our army and national guard, are using them at the in the current uh, at the current conflict in the east. Uh, well, what's different from previous versions is that it has greater firepower, the new combat module, which uh, and also uh, the armor itself is not a single. Uh, armor, it's a uh, combined, you see, armored plates, we, and it, it's a vehicle fully produced in NATO standards, and so this is a, um, one of the examples of uh, our ability for interoperability with NATO, actually. So there are other new electronic devices mounted, such as the operator can see 360 degrees uh, vision with cameras, you see them uh, uh, on the vehicle itself uh, and well to our opinion it's one of the best competitive products in the world in its class. Here I would like to introduce our uh, joint project with our Polish partner WB Group. Uh, this system for fighting with UAVs called uh, DAISY in English and it's a very good interesting concept of uh, modern warfare against UAVs. Generally this is the 40, 40 rocket uh, launcher. This is, the very, this is the system which is can uh, very effective destroy UAVs, approaching UAVs to our own position which we want to destroy very fast and very efficiently. So we can shoot the, 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 the rockets using the special software which is on board, this is fire direction for software, which can, using the sensors like the radars and the, and the cameras, payloads with the cameras, and they, they detect the UAVs. And after the detection, we calculate the ballistic of the, the rocket, and we calculate the point of meeting of the UAV and the shot of, of, the, shooting, of the shooting missiles. In this point, we explode the the head of the of the rockets and we destroy the, the UAVs. This is very simple, but generally it's very effective. The WB was uh, developed the software, generally, and some components, which is mechanical components like the drivers, uh, control drivers, and uh, what is what is something what is some I, IT or uh, uh, fire direction system. And uh, all hard is basically Ukrainian. Uh, so the missiles, uh, the containers, uh, the platform itself, and it can be mounted on any truck, the truck yeah. is whatever. Armored Vehicle Varta, uh, we have produced it two years ago. Uh, this is a car have protection uh, according to Stanak Level 2. This is car has experience in the war east of Ukraine and uh, has a uh, very good experience. Yes, uses this is car as Army, National Guard of Ukraine and Special Forces. So in uh, this car uh, installed uh, a fire detection and fire suppression systems with very high speed. The fire detection start work after three milliseconds. The steel of this car made in sweet 9.44 millimeters and protection from the bullet 762. About mine blast protection, the car keeping six kilograms TNT. So it's a according to Stanak level 2. In the car also installed uh, mine blast uh, seats with uh, uh, absorbing with, uh, with dampers. More than 70% more uh, components in the car uh, produced according to the NATO standard. By the way, the light on the vehicle is a produced uh, American company, the tri -Clyde. So in the tire uh, install run flat systems. With these run flats we can uh, go more than 50 kilometers. Uh, this is a new version, model of Vartam. It's a, uh, not a usual uh, medical uh, vehicle, but uh, uh, we, we want to show that 
we can on the basis Varta uh, develop uh, evacuation Varta. It's possible, uh, I mean, uh, the size of vehicle, a good uh, uh, the protection enough. And with this case, uh, maybe some uh, potential customer will view our potential with this car. As you know, we started a new project. It's a, this is a car, a Novator, uh, which will be on the basis chassis Ford 550. So our plan to introduce our vehicle Novator is uh, uh, middle of November. The reason of uh, start this is project, firstly, is uh, uh, we should uh, our army guys, our special forces wanted much uh, s s dynamic dynamic car uh, with low height so this is car will be uh, not for the big uh, quantity of personnel it's just a five six uh, crew uh, this is a uh, car on the basis chassis uh, Ford with uh, protection uh, Stanak level one or Stanak level two the car will be with mine blast protection seats with uh, fire detector detection and fire suppression systems uh, so we produce this is new type of vehicle according to the task of national guard of ukraine and special forces of ukraine it's not uh, only our vision it's vision of our guys uh, which has experience in the east of ukraine 